Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott, and I just wanted to give you an update um, and show you around here. Uh, I showed you the room last night, but I wanted to flip the camera around and show you guys uh, where I'm at. It was in the evening, I believe, and I didn't get to show you the nice little area that's over there. But I, I also wanted to give you a little update as to far how, as far as the progress is going on the book. So let me flip this around, and I'll talk and walk you through this. So hold on one second. Hi, Mama. Just wanted to give you guys an update and show you uh, where I'm at in the daytime. So I pray that this works. This is Pastor Scott, and here's my little trailer. I'm out here in the hills of Corona right now at the Grace Chapel Prayer Mountain. They call it a retreat center, but... This is really strictly for prayer. This place is where people come. And I can't imagine how many dreams and lives and things have been birthed up here as people travail in prayer and come to seek the Lord for the direction of their life, for their ministry, or their families. It's just amazing. They have three prayer services every day. And they feed the saints. The prayer services are at 6, 11, and 8 p.m. every day without fail. Uh, 365 days a year, there's people in there praying and there's uh, pastors preaching. It's just amazing. But uh, I am up here for a purpose. And that purpose is to finish the book that the Lord put on my heart of my testimony. Years ago, I started it uh, about nine years ago when I got out of prison. And then uh, just life got to going on and, and I never got around to finishing it. So I'm come up here to restart that process and um, see if we can get it done here before Easter as Pastor Addy, a uh, friend of ours, had uh, asked. He said the Lord spoke to him and said that I am to write a book about my testimony and he's gonna help us uh, get that published and get it out so it can be used to, to bless other people. So, yeah, there's my little trailer. I got the whole thing to myself. Three bedrooms, a living room. And this is a little fellowship area. And I'm about ready to take a walk up to the kitchen, the area where Esther serves, and have some lunch that they provide. It's real basic. She just cooks stuff and makes stuff that she can from the land here, from the, the garden that they have. So it usually consists of rice, kimchi, and some other green vegetables and whatnot, and some type of soup. And then they provide that for the people that are up here praying at around, I think... 12.30, somewhere in there, 12, 12.30. I'm going to take a look at the schedule that I wrote down the other day. And then I'll come back after that and get back to writing. And then dinner is again at 6. And then I'll just stay over there once I walk up there and then go to the service at 8. Pray and seek the Lord. Come back. Say goodnight to my wife. Go to sleep. At least try to sleep. I find it really hard to, to sleep now. Hold on, that's my alarm telling me it's time to get over there for lunch uh, without the wife. But yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful up here. I'll show you guys around. It lets you know that the writing has begun. Uh, and I went back and reread the prologue to the book and uh, the beginning of chapter one that I wrote years ago and basically just picked up where I left off. And that... Uh, we actually went all the way back to elementary school when it all began. And uh, a few little snippets from there. And then we'll move on to uh, the punk rock days of the meanies and drain bramage and the addicts. And uh, from there, we'll carry on the rest of the story. Different things that happened, marriage and divorce and life falling apart. And eventually ended myself up in prison. And that's where I really started to focus on the Lord. And now you see what me and my wife have uh, been able to do as husband and wife. And we'll share that part of the story probably in the follow-up to the book should this get done as we expect. And the second follow-up book will be what the Lord has done 
and also sharing the story of how me and my wife met. And her story at that point will be included and she'll have to get to work and uh, or I'll just write it for her. So anyway, Pastor Scott at Prayer Mountain, going to go grab some lunch. Just wanted to share with you guys uh, this beautiful place. So let me flip this around. Keep me in prayer. I'm all by myself out here with God and his uh, creation to write the book. Amen. And pray that the Lord uses it to, to save thousands, if not millions. If we can get it up in prisons and such all around the world. Uh, to bring hope to others and in different countries and such and different languages. And uh, anyway, yeah, huge hug for Esther. Okay, I'll give her a nice huge side hug <laughs> when I get over there. I already love you guys. If you need anything at all, um, just call one eight five five seventy jesus I won't be able to answer too many calls up here. Um, it's, it's really just hit and miss. I'm surprised that I'm even having internet connection right now. It just depends on honestly where I stand. <laughs> and then, um, so, but the team is always there for you guys, Joni and Jeff, and you can just dial one eight five five seventy jesus and press their extension and they'll be happy to help you with whatever you need. Alrighty. And then I'll be back down, uh, Saturday, uh, and then I'll probably go to, uh, Upland Fellowship, tell them what's uh, happened in Indonesia and uh, then uh, church uh, on Sunday and the outreach. And then if I need to, back again to Prayer Mountain on Monday. Anyway, uh, love you guys and we'll keep you posted. Hope you're enjoying the video updates and the trips that we take you guys on. And this is just another chapter in the lives of Scott and Diana and what the Lord is doing through us.